invincible. And too heavy for that stone balcony. That was the opening scene of the brand new Phobos comic. Now, Phobos has had a long history for me. In fact, I came up with a lot of it when I was in high school. There's a, quite a few different versions of Phobos that have been released over the years. In fact, let me just show you a little interview from 1994 with me talking about Phobos. Pocatello is now home to a nationally published comic book artist. 19-year-old Jason Brubaker recently had his original strip put out by a company in Florida. It's a spoof of old horror movie characters featuring a vampire, a Frankenstein monster, and a werewolf all who find themselves in spooky, kooky situations. Those comics have big, muscly superheroes that are just out of proportion. and um, They're all serious, but you can't really get into it because they're so serious and they're so screwed up looking. But I think mine, it's just kind of a bunch of weird stuff and people like it. You can check out Brubaker's Goofy Ghouls at Ozone Comics in Pocatello. Brubaker now has his sights set on someday working for Marvel Comics doing Spider-Man. So Phobos is really like a spoof on the classic horror characters. I loved Adam's Family, the Munsters, and I liked that black and white grainy film look of those old movies like Wolfman and Dracula. So I really wanted to just kind of merge all those things together into Phobos. And back when I started this, and I was a teenager, you know, I was trying to learn how to tell stories as a comic book artist. I wanted to get into comics. I made Phobos and I printed it up at the local copy shop and I made 50 copies. I sold them at the local comic book store. And I also made some copies to send around to publishers. A publisher actually picked it up and they published the first issue nationwide. And this was when I was in high school. And this was in the 90s when comics were really big. Well, they canceled it after the first issue. And so I had about five issues done. And I put it on the shelf and I thought I would never work on it again. And I moved to Hollywood. I started working in film and TV and commercials and animation. And, you know, just kind of forgot about it. But then one day, I showed it to a friend of mine, a coworker, And he said, I think it's really funny. I really like your writing. And so I started rescanning those old pages, contacted the publisher to see if I could get the rights back. And he said, yeah. I started re-releasing it as a way to test if I could self-publish my books. Now, this is before I started working on Remind. I released a couple issues. The first issue, I printed a thousand copies of it, tried to sell it, but couldn't. I ended up giving away most of those copies. I had three more issues finished. Didn't really sell that many other than to my family. Then I worked on Remind, and it had a big success. I worked on Sithra. I left Hollywood, got onto Webtoons, and now I'm finally getting back to Phobos and I'm relaunching it. I've rewritten it several times, and I'm really excited about it. I, I look at Phobos as the story that can keep going for the rest of my life. You know, it's going to be my ongoing experimental story. I really want to keep it alive, and I hope you take this journey with me. Thank you for all your support so far. I'll see you soon. To create this comic book. Well, it was, I just, actually, my first that started me off was uh, this guy named Todd McFarlane, who's one of the biggest artists right now. And I just, I hated comics before I saw his artwork. And as soon as I saw it, I liked it and decided I was drawing everything like he did. And then I just got into comics all of a sudden and started doing my own stuff. What do you get you do it? Um, I think it's fun. I think if I could get into it, it'd be like a career that I'd have fun while I'm working, you know, be excited to go to work and stuff. For the... Phobos comic strip, where'd you come up with the idea? A mixture between all the old horror shows and one of my favorite comics called Cerebus. I kind of have part of that in it. It's just like a big mixture of all the horror shows in a spoof comedy type way. <laughs> where'd you, you, you know, put comedy into this? What led you to put the comedy into it? Well, I don't know. Ever, ever since I can remember, I've been I've never really done anything serious with my artwork. I've, I've, <laughs> I've always had to put comedy in. It's just the way I am. How does it feel to be published nationally? Uh, pretty good. I can get more cocky. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I, I don't know. It's, I like it. <laughs> Are you going to get rich off of this? Not this comic, probably, but hopefully I'll be the start. <laughs> I don't think I'll get much money out of this comic, but that's okay. 
Look into the future, 20 years down the road. Where okay. do you hope you will be? Um, drawing for Marvel Comics. Doing Spider-Man. <laughs> nope. Still doing Phobos.